coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers. FAA releases preliminary Mosaic and PRM. Texas Aircraft Manufacturing introduces new LSA offering. Dynan debuts D30 electronic flight display. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our new programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. FAA releases preliminary Mosaic and PRM. Long, long overdue, the FAA is about to publish the NPRM outlining what they envisioned for MOSAIC. MOSAIC, an acronym denoting modernization of special airworthiness certificates, proposes to, quote, enable enhancements in safety and performance and increase privileges under a number of sport pilot and light sport aircraft rules, end quote. Ostensible enhancements under the rule include increasing suitability for flight training, limited aerial work, and personal travel. The proposed rule seeks to expand the number and types of aircraft sport pilots may operate. A few of the provisions in this 318-page document allow the feds to revise LSAs defining limitations, switching such from arbitrary weight to performance-based metrics, thereby increasing access to flight training by allowing for larger and more capable aircraft and permitting a wider range of students and instructors to fly such, and affording flight schools broadened opportunities to supplement, refresh, or replace their fleets of training aircraft. Also to facilitate the adoption of new propulsion technologies, including electric, hybrid, and distributed power, by removing the restrictions setting forth powered LSAs must be motivated exclusively by reciprocating engines. Also leveraging the existing sport pilot system of training and instructor endorsements in such a way that current and future sport pilots may expand the privileges of their certificates to include the operation of larger and more capable aircraft. Such a provision would apply to both sport pilots and higher-rated pilots operating under the privileges of a sport pilot certificate and occasion a pathway by which extant pilots may remain active in general aviation. Much more info to follow. And coming up after the break, Seeker A USA's Seeker A8 helicopter gaining market share. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Seeker A USA Seeker A8 helicopter gaining market share. The Seeker A8 helicopter has achieved certification under the LTF ULH regulations for ultralight helicopters under 1,320 pounds maximum takeoff weight. The helicopter is the first to be certified under the new weight class. The Seeker A8 also holds French certification under the European nation's class six requirements. Moreover, the FAA has designated the Seeker A trainer an approved air training device. Seeker A USA provides sales, support, and services to Seeker A helicopter owners and buyers in North and Central America through its operations in Reno, Nevada. Priority Bushliner 1850 positions going fast. Bushliner Aircraft is the Washington state-based backcountry aircraft concern renowned for its wizardry with Cessna's 180 and 185 airframes, including a Cessna clone known as the Bushliner 1850. Access to Bushliner Cyclone 1850 pre-orders are now open. The team has been working tirelessly to bring the Cyclone 1850 to life, and they say that, quote, we have now surpassed our minimum order production threshold, end quote. This means they will officially begin production in 2024, with initial deliveries scheduled for 2025. Hummingbird flies north to Oshkosh. Vertical Aviation Technologies, makers of the four-place Hummingbird helicopter kit, will be displaying a customer's Hummingbird 300L at Oshkosh. The beautiful Hummingbird 300L was built by Mr. Vic Syracuse of Locust Grove of Georgia's Base Leg Aviation. 
Inspired by Sikorsky's S-52, the Hummingbird is simple in design, robust and easy to assemble, and a pleasure to fly, as acknowledged by ANN's resident test pilot, Jim Campbell. Moreover, the machine's acquisition and operating costs are reportedly lower than those of comparably capable, factory-built rotorcraft. Important Oshkosh Press Conferences We'd like to call your attention to a few press conferences set for opening days at AirVenture, each at the EAA Press Building. At 1000 CT, Sun and Fun will present exciting plans for the 50th Annual Expo coming up in 2024, including some big news with ANN, the Innovation Preview, and the Affordable Flying Expo. Later that day at 13.30, the latest info on the upcoming Sport Plane Resource Guide will be discussed, including some serious upgrades to the program and format. On Tuesday at 10.30 CT, the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation has major news about new missions, new board members, and new energy for this amazing program. Bob's mission has a bright future. And right after that, Compair will present a major news update at 1100 CT concerning the Compair 6.2, the upcoming turbine version, and a novel project known as the Compair Wing. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Texas Aircraft Manufacturing introduces new LSA offering. Hoping to take advantage of the tenets of what may come about due to Mosaic, Texas Aircraft Manufacturing has partnered with its sister company, Brazil's Industria Paulista de Aeronaves, to introduce the four-place stallion. Kyle Braga, North American sales for Texas Aircraft Manufacturing, said, quote, This is an incredible day for everyone at Texas Aircraft's facilities in Texas and Brazil. This program has been in development for a long time, and we're so very excited to introduce the Stallion SLSA. With its spacious four-place cabin and reliable Lycoming 200-horsepower engine, the Stallion offers a higher level of styling, performance, and value to pilots who need the extra two seats but want the affordability of an SLSA." End quote. Braga added that the first prototype Stallion SLSA was built at the INPA Air facility in Capina, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and is currently undergoing flight testing to collect flight data in preparation for design finalization and eventually earning approval. Initial specs are four-place, 200-horsepower Lycoming IO360, extra-wide doors, welded chromoly safety cell, all-aviation-grade aluminum airframe, maximum cruise speed 135 knots, best economy cruise speed 120 knots, stall speed clean 58 knots, stall speed full flaps 52 knots, and maximum range 1,144 nautical miles at best economy cruise. And after these messages, Dynan debuts D30 electronic flight display. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Dynan debuts D30 electronic flight display. Dynan has added the D30 touchscreen electronic flight display to its Dynan certified product line. The D30 is designed to serve as a backup set of flight instruments in STC Skyview HDX systems, which may now be installed into over 600 type certificated aircraft models. The D30 is FAA approved and available immediately. The D30 features a large 4-inch sunlight-readable high-resolution touchscreen display. The display provides pilots with critical backup flight information including attitude, airspeed, altitude, vertical speed, turn rate, and slip-skid indications. An integrated backup battery provides up to 5 hours of runtime in the event of aircraft power failure, giving pilots confidence that they have access to critical flight information when it is needed most. Compact at only 3.7 inches deep, the D30 mounts in a slightly modified 3 and 1 8 inch instrument hole via a docking ring mounting bracket. The bracket allows for one screw installation and removal of the instrument. List price for the Dynan D30 is $1,945. The unit is currently available through Dynan Avionics and authorized Dynan certified installers. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.